All right, you're welcome back to this class. In this video, we're going to learn factors of numbers. So on, in this video, we have this objective to achieve. The first one is we want to look at many of factors of a number. Uh, then we look at prime numbers, prime factors, and uh, prime factorization. So we link them. So don't forget, uh, in the previous video, we looked at uh, rules of divisibility, right? So understanding of that rule will help you a lot in uh, understanding this. But we'll be making use of those rules to know, to, to understand this topic, right? So if you have anything that can distract you, just remove them, put them aside, and uh, put your rapt attention into the video so you can get the best of it. So let's get started. So when we talk about factors, Factors of a number are all the numbers that can divide that number without a remainder. So, understanding of the rule will help you a lot in understanding the factors of a number. So, we are looking at all the numbers that we can use to divide a particular number are its factors. Hope that is clear. So, let's look at example. All right, let's look at this example now. This, this example asks us to find factors of 48. So what are we going to do? The question is asking us to find all the numbers that can divide 48 without a remainder. So what are we going to do? Solution to this number. Solution. Right. So 48. So we can multiply. Uh, 1 can divide 48. That means this 1 multiplied by 48. Then 2 can divide 48. That means we are multiplying 48. We are dividing. When we divide 2, uh, 48 by 2, that will be 2 multiplied by 2 in 4. That gives us 2. 2 in 8, that gives us 4. So that is 2 multiplied by 24 will give us 48. So the other one we're going to look at is 3. Can 3 divide it? As uh, we have learned earlier on, in the videos that we you have watched before, this one, I've made it to known to you that a number will be divisible by three if the sum of its digits gives a multiple of what three or a number that three can divide. So four plus eight gives us twelve. So that means that forty-eight is divisible by what three. So that three is also part of it. So three multiplied by what? So three in four that is one. We carry one to this, that's 18. 3 in 18, that gives us 6. Right? So then we take another one, 48. 4 can also divide 40 because these two digits can divide, 40 can divide it. That is what? 40. 4 multiplied by what? 12. Can 5 divide it? 5 cannot divide it. What about 6? So can 6 divide it? So let's check. Can 6 divide this out? So we've learned that for, for a number to be divisible by uh, 6, so such a number must be divisible by 2 and what? 3. And 2 can divide this, 3 can also divide. That means 6 can divide it, right? So you can see the importance of that divisibility of uh, a divisibility test that we treated earlier on. So that means 6 multiplied by what we give us 48. So 6 times 8. 6 times 8 gives us what? 48. Then we don't have any number because if you look at it, immediately after 6 here, the next number is 7 and we don't have 7. So immediately after 8 is 9. 9 cannot divide this. 10 cannot divide this. 11 cannot divide it. Then followed by 12. So if we want to list out the factors of 48 now, we're going to say 48. Factors of 48. Factors of 48 factors of 48 are uh, we start from the first one 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 16 24 and then what 48 so these are the factors of 48 
These are numbers that can divide 48 without having what? A remainder. So, so that is that on factors of numbers, how to find factors of number. This is the easiest way to find it. So the best thing, the first thing you need to know is to go and master the divisibility rules that we have treated earlier on. So understanding of that, we make it to, to know how you find factors of any number you give them. So I think this is uh, everything we need to know about factors of numbers. So move on to prime factors. Uh, prime numbers rather. Let's move to prime numbers. Prime numbers are numbers that have two factors. That means that a prime number is a number that is only divisible by one and itself. There is no other number that can divide it except one and what itself. Let's say for instance, if you pick 17, 17 what are the numbers that can divide 17? Two can't divide it because it's not ending with what? With even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8. Then it's not ending with what? 0. 3 cannot divide it. When you add 1 and 7 together, it will give you what? It will give you 8. And 8 is not divisible by 3. Then we look at 4. It's just two numbers. If you look at these two numbers, it's not divisible by what? By 4. 5 is not ending with 0 and 5. Likewise, 6 at the same time, so it's not divisible by 6. So that means if you continue to check it to the end, you notice that 17 has no factors other than itself and the word 1. Because 1 is a factor of all numbers. 1 is a factor of what? All numbers. In that case, 17 is a prime number because it has only two factors, which is 1 and what? And it's 10 and 17. Oh, I'm making sense. So let's now look at starting from the beginning. Can we say 1? We have 1. We have 2, 3, 4, 5. Can we say 1 is a, is a prime number? No. 1 is not, it doesn't mean 1 is not a prime number. Why? Because one has only one factor, which is what? One. If you look at one, there's no other number that can divide one except one, which is it has one factor. And condition for, for a number to be a prime number, it must have two factors. But this one has just one factor, which is one. I believe I'm making sense. Good. So in that case, one is not a prime number. Then look at two. Two in this case. As two factors. What are the factors? You can multiply two by one. So one and what? Two. So two is a prime number because it has two factors, one and itself. And what do you if you look at it? Prime numbers, because don't be confused about prime number and even number. You'll be saying that two is an even number, right? So some believe that when you talk about prime number, what comes to their mind is odd. You understand? They are not the same thing. There are some there are some numbers that are odd, and at the same time they are what prime numbers. Why there is a number that is even number and also what a prime number, and that is this two. It's just one. Two is a prime number and also an even number. While we have other numbers that are odd numbers and they are also what prime numbers. Over making sense. So 2 is a prime number. Let's check 3. There's no number that can divide it except 1 and what itself. Am I with you? So 3 is a prime number, right? So 3 is a prime number. So you can see now, 3 is an odd number, and at the same time, it's also what? A prime number. So we look at 4. 4 is not a prime number because it has more than two factors. What are the factors of 4? We have 1. That's the first one. Two can also divide it. And what? And four. How many factors? Three factors. So that is the reason why four is not a what? A prime number. Am I with you? It's not a prime number. Five. Two cannot divide five. Three cannot divide it. Four cannot divide it. So what can divide five? It's just one 
and what? Five. So which means it has how many factors? Two factors. So five is an odd number and also what a prime number. So take note of this. One is not a prime number. Two is a is a prime number and also an odd number. That's the fact that we have just one even number that is a prime number, which is two. Go and check other even numbers. They are not prime numbers, right? Then three. Not we have odd numbers that are prime numbers. Not all odd numbers. Take note of this one. This one is very important too. Not all odd numbers are prime numbers. Why? Because one is a is an odd number and is not a prime number. Let's start from prime numbers. Then we go to prime factors. Prime factors. Prime factors. So prime factors. So we are trying to combine two things here. Factors and a prime. So when we talk about prime factors, we're talking about a fact of let me say factors of a number that are also prime numbers. Simple. Say so prime factors are factors of a number that are also what prime numbers. So let's look at this. So we again let's make use of this example. Find the prime factors of 15 as an example. Find the prime factors of 15. So what we're going to do is so what are numbers that can divide 15? Right? So we're going to, one can divide it. Three can divide it. And I want five. Out of this, it's only three and five that are what prime numbers. So therefore we can see that prime factors, prime factors of 15, prime factors of 15 are 3 and what? And 5. All of this is very clear. So that is that on prime factors. So prime factorization is the same thing as expressing, uh, expressing number, expressing numbers as product, as product of uh, prime factors prime factors. So we want to express some numbers, the question we call is could be prime factor. And what are the prime factorization of this number? Express this number as product of its prime factors. So the same thing. So what we're going to do, for example now, example, we have express 68 as product of its prime factors. We want to what are the prime factors we multiply together that will give us 68. So sometimes it will be in index form. In index form. Then if the number appears twice or if it appears more than once, you take it to part, do it to index. So if you have two times two times two, that's two raised power what three. We have 3 raised to the power 4. So the power is there is what we call index in mathematics. Is that clear? Good. So how do we do this? So we have, we're going to have, just let's have uh, a ruler like this. Have these two lines here. Uh, let's say one line is okay. So we have 68 here. So we now use the prime numbers that, that we know. We start from the smallest one, which is 2. Can 2 divide 68? That is where the rule of this video will come. Can 2 divide this? So if 2 can divide it, then we use 2 to divide it. So if 2 can divide it, how do we know this? 2 can divide it because it ends with what? 8. So in this case, 2 here, 2 in 6, that gives 3. 2 in 8, that is 4. Can 2 still go? If 2 can go, we use 2 again to divide it. 2 can go. 2 here, 1 will be the 1. In 17, in 14, that is what? 7. Can 2 divide 17? So we look at this 17. Is 17 a prime number? If it's a prime number, you leave it there. That is 17. Is that clear? Good. So that means that we want to now express this. We want to express as product of its prime factors. That means 68 will be equal to 2 multiplied by 2 
multiplied by what? 17. In index form. So if a number appears twice, we will take it to indi indices. So that means we have 2 raised to power 2 because it's raised to power 2 multiplied by what? 17. So this will give us what? The answer. I hope this is clear. Let's look at another example. So, so this is 1. Let's look at another one. 2. We have. So. What is prime factorization? Factorization of one hundred and twelve. So prime factorization of one. We go through the same process. So we have one one hundred and twelve here. So can two go? Yes, two can divide if we use two. That's the first prime number. So two in uh, ten. That is five. We have one left. Two in twelve. That is six. Two can two divide it because it ends with six. Two here. That gives us another one. Two. We have one in sixteen. That is eight. Then two can see go right. Two here one. Two here what four. Two can see go. Two here seven. Seven can go one. So because seven is a what prime number. You can see that you can never see another number here that is not a prime. So in that case, 112 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. So which will give us 2 raised to power 4 multiplied by 7. So that is the answer. This 7 is 7 raised to power 1. I hope uh, we have exhausted the, the, the objective for this class. So, so what I will advise again, uh, is this you pay attention you can go back to the video again and watch from the beginning if you are new to this channel uh kindly subscribe so that you can you have access to any video i publish and then you can check other videos in this channel as well so you can share with your friends and family so if you have any question for Simon what we treated under this topic you can write it in the comment section then i'll surely i'll uh, give you a i'll usually respond to your answer so next time we're looking at acf of numbers so thank you for your attention i will meet in the next video bye bye for now